won't be before you long today. Um, from the subject title, stay connected. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. Stay connected. For about the last couple of months, I've been having some problems with my truck. And those of you that know me know I love my truck. Yeah. <laughs> been having problems cranking it and keeping it running. So over the last uh, four weeks, um, you know, I've been just racking my brains. I've been calling people to, because I said, surely someone else has had this problem. Even talked to Brother Kenny, maybe uh, I think a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago, uh, and I come to the conclusion that I needed a new starter because the starter was dragging and it just wouldn't do right. And I was just dis disgusted and disappointed. Amen? Amen. So I parked my truck last week and it sat there for a whole week, didn't go out there and bother it. And me and Melissa got up Saturday morning and we walked for about an hour. And when we finished walking, I said, let me go crank this truck because it, it would crank when it was cold. So I stuck the key in and turned the ignition, and there was nothing. Mm. I hung my head. I said, my truck is died. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Mm. So I went and I pulled the hood, and I began to survey the situation. I was looking around, trying to see what was going on. And I just happened to hit the battery cable. And mm. when I touched the battery cable, I noticed a wire was out, and all the other wires were just hanging. They were just hanging there. And I said, hmm, is there this something? So I pulled the clamp back and I got the wires back in there and I tightened it down real good. Reached inside and stuck the key in and my baby brought back the light. <laughs> got a big smile on my face. I said, thank you, Lord. And I realized that the problem I was having with my truck was merely because it wasn't connected. Okay. Amen? All Did y'all right. that? Yeah. It wasn't connected. Now, it would crank every now and then, but that's because the wires were making some connection. Yeah. But it wasn't making a full connection. Full Amen. Connection. I got you. Come Amen. on. Amen. So, let's look to our scripture. When we read these uh, 11 verses found here in John, the word abide was mentioned 11 times in the 11 verses we read. Now, because it's written in red, we know that Jesus is talking. And any time Jesus says anything, we know it's important. Amen. But when he takes the time to say it 11 times, he's trying to get a message across to us. He's trying to tell us that I need you to sit up, take notice, and pay attention. I need you to get this. This is not just important. It's real important. Amen? Amen. 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 Abide means to stay or remain. And in the context in which Jesus is using it, he's simply telling us, stay or remain or stay connected to me and I will stay connected to you. Amen? Amen. Amen. Simply put, stay connected to me and I will stay connected to you. Now during our lifetime, we will find ourselves connected to many things. People, money, jobs, relationships, and the list goes on and on. And the life that we live generally is based on who or what we are. Amen? Amen. For instance, if you associate yourself and you're connected to a bunch of thieves, really? you may not even steal. Well, but because you're connected to them, when people see you, they think you're a thief. Amen? Amen. 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 So the question today is, what are you connected to? Are you connected to success? Are you connected to failure? Are you connected to people that like to hurt other people? Are you connected to people that like to help other people? Are you connected to people that live a life of happiness? Or are you connected to people that live a life of sadness? My first question for you today, what should you be connected Amen. to? Let's look at the scriptures. Come on now. Verse 1 says, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Mm -hmm. Verse 1 tells us we should be connected to the true vine. Mm -hmm. And who's the true vine? Jesus. Don't be afraid to say it. 
Who is the true vine? Jesus. Jesus. We need to be connected to Jesus. If you're not connected to the true vine, that means you are connected to a fake, mm -hmm. an imitator, Come on. a wannabe, Teach. Teach. a lookalike. <laughs> Amen? Amen. It, it, it's like me saying, hey, give me a Dr. Pepper, and you give me a Dr. Perky. <laughs> Amen. Imitator. It's like saying, give me a diamond, and you give me a cubic zirconia. Nah, nah. It's like saying, give me a pair of Air Jordans, and, ye, and you give me a pair of Air James. Amen. Right, amen. Amen. On, amen. When you're connected to the real thing, the real Jeez. thing always tastes better. It always looks better. And it always lasts forever. Just like Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jeez. Amen. Jeez. amen. Jeez. However, there are times when we are connected to the true vine, but there are little breaks All right now. in the line that affect our connection to Jesus. And just as I told you earlier with my truck, even though it was cranking from time to time, because the wires were slipping, I, I can imagine that as I was driving down the road and hitting bumps and, and turning curves, the battery was shifting and it probably pulled the wires loose. But because they didn't pull them all the way out, they were still hanging on. It would make enough connection to get it cranked every now and then. Now. But as it hit the bumps and shook it loose, there was a disconnect. There was no more power, so the truck wouldn't run. Amen. So what causes those breaks in our lives? Lack of prayer, disbelief, disobedience, mm -hmm. and just plain old sin. Jesus still loves us. But because of our lack of disobedience, because of our uh, breaking his commandments, that affects our relationship with Jesus. And those yeah. are those times when you find yourself going through a season. Yeah. <clears throat> God yeah. has to chastise us. He has mm -hmm. to spank us. Mm -hmm. That's when the vine dresser steps in and he has to prune us. Come on now. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 We're thinking that we're going through a tough time, but... God and Jesus are saying, Woo, I got to get this dead weight off of you. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. I got to teach you a lesson. Yes, sir. So I got to come in and I got to snip this off and I got to snip that off. Amen. Oh, come on, come on. So don't look at your trials and tribulations as, as a disaster. Just think about it sometimes as God trying to prune you and get that dead weight off. Amen. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. Amen. Second question. How do you know when you're connected. Amen? Let's look at verse 5. Verse 5 says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much <coughs> fruit. Amen? Amen? So you know when you're connected based on the fruit that you bear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen? When you're not connected to Jesus, well, the fruit you bear will be the fruit of the flesh, so to speak. Amen? Amen? And when you're bearing the fruit of the flesh, you're doing things that your, fret, your flesh loves. Amen? Amen? So you won't mind. You won't mind committing adultery. Mm -hmm. You won't mind premarital sex. Come on. You won't mind delving in sorcery. What? You won't mind hating people. You won't mind selfish ambitions. Mm -hmm. You won't mind getting drunk. Amen? Amen. Come on. Uh, here's an example. When you walk in the flesh. I don't care how saved you are. I, I need you to understand this is a reality. I don't care how saved you are. Every now and then if the right situation comes Come before on. you, you can slip back. Come Amen. on. Amen. Amen. And that doesn't mean we're bad. That's it just right. means we're human. I remember a day on my job, I called my wife. I was out on the road. My big bosses were down in the office and gone. And I called my wife. I said, honey, I said, I'm calling you in advance because when I get back to the office, 
I probably won't have a job. She's like, what's wrong? I said, because when I get back, I'm going to cuss everything out inside. <laughs> and she said, David. I said, what? She said, you can't do that. I said, I come. I said, yes, I can. You need to pray. I said, I, I, I'm praying. I said, but it's going to feel real good to my flesh when I get back. Uh, <laughs> key, key. Amen. Mm -hmm. I, and I talked to her. I said, didn't I, baby? I said, it's going to feel good to this flesh. She said, Dave, you can't do that. She said, you need to pray. I said, well, I am. I said, it'll be a while before I get back, but I'm telling you now, it's going to be going ahead of time. So you won't be too upset at me when they call and tell me I don't have a job. Well, the Lord and his, his, his grace and his mercy, when I, by the time I got back to the office, the office was empty. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's why I'm still standing here. I still got a job. Amen. Amen. God is good. And I'm glad that God knows our heart. Amen. So I was able to repent and I was asked, able to ask God to forgive me. Instead of going through a chastisement stage, he allowed me to get off with just a slap on the hand. Amen. 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 But when you're connected to Jesus, you should exhibit the fruits of the Spirit. Fruits of Amen. The Spirit. Come on, teach, teach. It means you're able to have joy in the midst of sadness. Mm -hmm. You're able to have peace yes. in the midst of turmoil. Come on now. You're able to have kindness in the midst of rudeness. Yeah. You're able to love in the midst of hatred. Come on. Lord. When you bear the fruit of the Spirit, people will sit up and take notice of yes, you. Yes, they will. And Amen. they will want what you have. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's when we are allowed to do what Jesus has sent us out to do. The Great Commission. Amen. 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 That, that's why we try to teach it at the harvest. When people see our harvest family, we want, to know, want them to know that they are connected Amen. to the harvest. Amen. And that the harvest people are there to serve. They're there to encourage. They're there yes, to sir. lead. Amen. 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 So when someone sees you, they who want them to say, must go to that church called the harvest. Amen. 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 That's, a, that's a wonderful feeling to know yes, you are associated with something that is good. Amen. Something that is pure Amen. and clean. Amen. We want people to know God that the harvest family loves the Lord. Amen. 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 One more question for you, and I'm going to be out your way. Last question. Why should I or should we get connected? Amen? Let's look at verse 7. Verse 7 says, If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. That sounds good to me. Amen. Doesn't that sound good? Mm -hmm. Amen. When I got connected, when I got my truck connected to its well. source, the benefits that I, I reap was... I now have a fully operational truck. Amen. 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 That made I, you know what that made me feel real, real, real good. good. I, I think I cranked my truck what, all day yesterday. Two <laughs> <laughs> more turns. Amen. I had to just I kept going. I said, you know, let me check this again just to make sure it's still running. And when I got up this morning, what did I do? Cranked it. Went out the <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> So the benefits we reap is Jesus is telling us, if you stay connected to me, then I will definitely stay connected to you. Amen. And he says, ask for what you want, your desires. And, and why is he so confident that he'll give it to us? Because we're connected to him. Come on, teach, teach. We are aware of all of his promises. Mm. And Jesus understands that as long as we're connected to him, we're not going to ask him for anything that is outside of his will. Amen. That's why he can say, I'm going to give it to you. Amen. Because I know it's going to be in my will. Amen. Amen. Amen.